Have you ever wanted to live in a place with good people, good food, and beautiful homes? Hi, my name is Christian Vermeulen, your host of American Dream TV here in Maine. And I'm gonna take you on a tour of Kennebec County, home to our state capital, a diner that was featured on Guy Ferrari's food show. I cannot wait to show you what Kennebec County has in store. Let's get to it. a vintage historic gem we have here in Gardner. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me today, Aaron. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about, you know, the inspiration going into owning this, because I know you recently acquired this business. So yep. walk me through sort of the story behind that. I worked here from 2001 through when I was done with school. Got my degree in marketing in 2010, went off and got a real job, which I loved, but this place has a gravity to it and it, I couldn't really ever get it out of me. And eight years into my marketing career, I had heard that um, my good friend and former owner of the diner, Mike Guyverson, had a couple of health issues. And I stopped by and I just said, you know, Mike, would you sell the diner? And he looked at me and he said, yeah, I would. Tell me a little bit about like the community and, and how they come here. So uh, this definitely, like I said, has a gravity to it. People travel here. It's unique thing to eat in an authentic 1946 diner. There's a lot of good reasons to come here. The setting, the food is great. Our staff is fantastic. Community discussions happen in diners. Um, whenever something happens, uh, some big news breaks, the next day people are in here talking about it. and. It's one of the few safe spaces left, in a way, to have people of different opinions sharing their thoughts and all while they're eating their food. It's, it's such a traditional thing for people to do. So glad you're continuing to carry the torch of this place. I mean, you had such a success here. Lots of people still coming in. Some great food, great staff. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me today. This was wonderful. Of course. Happy to do it. Bobby, thank you so much for having me here. What a beautiful day to check out one of your many developments. And this is Farmingdale, correct? It is correct. Yeah, so tell me a little bit of how this got developed. Well, first, thanks for having us and thanks for doing the show with us today. Um, Farmingdale is a kind of an exciting project. It started years ago with a previous developer uh, before, call it the, the real estate crash of 07. Uh, previous developers that came into a, an existing nine hole golf course, converted into uh, essentially 55 and older condominiums, maintenance free for those folks and then basically retired. So we, we kind of learned about the project and, and heard there was some remaining permits, investigated it and decided, you know what, that could be a product that need, that's, uh, we could bring to life. And it was very much needed for this area. So uh, we got involved with it, went back through the planning board and voila, here we are, 15 beautifully done condos to finish out this project. Yeah, it's all filled. I met some of the residents here. I mean, they love you, Bobby, oh my goodness. Like it just seems like you're not just a developer, but you're also great with customer service. So why Kennebec County? It seems like that I know you're headquartered in Kennebec County. Correct. But you know, why develop? And, you know, is it a growing county? Are there, I know there's a lot of small towns, a lot of great main streets, but like what gets you connected to the county? That's a great question. I think the best way to answer that question is if you go back 25 or 30 years, right? <clears throat> and you look at the migration, how the state basically fills itself in, how markets are developed and created, you know, Southern Maine has always been a great, healthy market. And I think that, you know, you put 25 or 30 years on that growth, I think organically it just pushes them to Central Maine, right? Well, that's one reason. I mean, other reasons why I personally like Central Maine, I develop statewide, is here in Central Maine, you are, first of all, you're the capital of the state, right? You're, when you're in Kennebec County, you're an hour to the coast, you're an hour to ski country, so you're essentially located to pretty much all the amenities, if you will, uh, as opposed to driving down and driving up, you're just, you're an hour each way. Right. Uh, on top of all of which, you have the Kennebec River that mouths off into the, the, the Atlantic Ocean. So you can get in a, you know, your boat and you can go down to the Atlantic Ocean if you want to for the day for a day trip or go to Booth Bay. Uh, and you also have, like you said, you have beautiful eateries, restaurants, all the shopping, theater, uh, the arts. And on, on top of all of that, we have amazing colleges. So we have Colby College. Uh, we have the KV Tech College. We have you know, UMaine campus, uh, Thayer College. Uh, you have Huston University for you know, nursing, for example. Uh, we have two major hospitals uh, that are on each side of, call it Kennebec County, 11 miles to Waterville, and of course, 11 miles back here to Augusta. Um, so I think you have, a, a, if you're looking for a place that's thriving, uh, has everything you need to, to support yourself, your family, great school systems, 
Kennebec County is pretty much the, where it's been at for us and why we headquarter from Kennebec County. That's amazing. So you're touching on so many different audiences, touching on so many different areas of Maine, but specifically in Kennebec County. Correct. So much for your time, Bobby. Like, it's truly amazing what you're doing and you're creating homes for people that need them because like the lack of inventory here in Maine, <coughs> you're creating a solution for them. So thank yes. you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having us. So can you tell me what was the inspiration behind starting uh, Nick Rossi's Knives, your business, your baby? <laughs> well, I've always been knife obsessed from when I was like a little kid, you know, yeah. uh, it was like lots of like Rambo movies and uh, uh, the movie A Princess Bride that kind of got me into like swords and knives and, and stuff like that. And I got, I got a job in a retail knife store when I was 15 and that was my introduction to kitchen knives nice. and that's sort of what I ended up falling in love with. Wow. And sort of... How did you get to know the process? Did you, was it self-taught? Did you go to school for it? How did you become a knife maker? Well, I was blessed in the sense that one of my coworkers had just started his knife making journey as well. And he was nice enough to let me uh, come over to his shop and kind of ruin his equipment and, and help me get started. We learned a lot together. So that was kind of how I got my, my, my first taste of uh, pounding hot metal. <laughs> I love it. So you're gonna show me a little bit of that today, right? Sure will. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. So I know that your shop is in Vassalboro, which is a part of Kennebec County. Like, why choose this location? Um, I was renting a commercial space in Portland, and uh, this is a little bit closer to my home. Uh, in this, this particular location I'd been watching for a while, and it's right on 201, and it's halfway between Augusta and Waterville, so it could not be a better location for me. You know, I'm closer, close to the major centers. Um, Vassalboro, in general, uh, the town has been very, very helpful, and they really wanted me to be here, and this, this property kind of set, set abandoned for a long time, so they're happy to see it kind of revitalized, and I'm happy to be here. Thank you.